Сняла булгенную сына саня.
Well, hello, good morning, good afternoon, and every other time in between. I apologize about the delay. We are having a little bit of a technical difficulty, but we finally got it working. How you doing, Queen? Not sure what happened. The game just refused to load. That's good to hear. I know you've been having a hard few days. I think I've mentioned before, but this picture from the Anglo-Saxons just, it, it, it's entertaining to me for some reason. Oh, um. ended up pushing my intended stream time back but hey we will be fine so let's get back down to Mongolia if you remember what happened last time for anybody just catching up we ended up getting into a, a fight with the Tibetans and it didn't turn out too well Ended up getting slaughtered down to where there was only about 24 survivors and we're slowly recovering our military strength. And right now we are at a pretty interesting weak point. We have several vassals and a few of them in particular aren't too keen on us. Luckily, one of our vassals has uh, had a couple of new kids, so they will be able to stay within our realm. We don't have to worry about losing it. We have our wife who is in control of the Shayla Valley, and whenever both of our when the two of us both pass away, our son, he will... Are we related? Yeah, it looks like they got a... It's offered... Let's offer guardianship to our grandson. Unfortunately, our son is over in our wife's court. So let's see. We'll give him a warrior's education. And let's hope nothing too crazy happens as we regain our strength. And we're just going to consume the hash to keep our stress level down. 88 years to get mustering grounds. That's all right. Wasn't much of anything 
too active going on. Well, let me just check anything. It's a simple fix real quick. Yeah, don't worry about it, Arcane. Accidents happen. Let's see. Oh, we got ourselves a very nice Spy Master. And it looks like we've cleared a miniature crisis by uh, recovering our... Uh, by recovering at least a good portion of our troops. Now it's pretty clear to us that we need to unify the Mongol culture. We need to bring as much of it under our control. We were rather defeated handsomely in that last fight. Let's see how much more, uh... Luckily we have plenty of extra knights that are available. side of Mongolia, so we're going to we don't have enough for the duchy claim, so we're just going to claim for the county. We need to do a show of strength just so we can make sure that all the other chieftains that are around us don't view us as being weak. We need to show that we're the strongest chieftain of the Mongols. they weren't educated, I mean, uh, converted to our culture. Let's call our wife to war. Ten months and we'll have down this village. We definitely don't need a concubine. We have plenty of our own issues. We're getting relatively close to being able to form the Khanate whenever we absorb the Shela Valley. That will give us a distinct, probably what we need. 
to be honest, to form the Khanate. Kind of interesting that, you know, we have something like this. It's like we lose one major battle and we're having bad events. Bad stuff happen. Bad juju. <laughs> uh, So how are you doing today, Arcane? Are you already home, Queen, by the way? Forgot to ask. Or if you were still finishing up work. Just about done with that battle. Yeah, we need to go hit their army. Happy shrimp. Had them controlling the battle that it's unfortunate. And again. Oh, and that gave us the victory we needed. Let's create a new vassal over here. And our territory is starting to definitely get bigger, get nicer. The Kyrgyz are definitely beginning to look a little on the uh, worrying, worrying side. So let's arrange marriage. See if he will. Yep. Definitely looks like the 
Looks like this clan of the Kurgis is going to most likely form... No, it already has. I just realized he already has the title of Khan. So we have the first Northern Warlord. Honestly, we might see another one as well. The Siberian tribes in this game really need to have a flavor pack because right now they're just kind of lumped in as Norse. Like they have no different than the uh, northern packs, etc. Except for they don't have like anything unique. They dress like they're from Scandinavia when they really shouldn't. We have a whole bunch of tribes around us that are close to our strength. Let's bring our raiding parties over here and we're just gonna raid. Everywhere on this side of the Gobi. Of the Gobi Altai. There we go. Let's go raid these guys and see what happens. See if they actually raise up and try to attack us. Honestly, outside of, you know, capturing that territory, Alton doesn't have a lot to show for to distinguish him from his father. What shall be his beard? I like that. Let's get him something a little more of what we are. Step Raider. To look a little more like the uh, part that we're supposed to be playing, you know. <laughs> look like we're actually coming from the step. guys speed up time a little bit more
let's let's get all that boundless plunder. As long as we don't stop within the Tibetan territory, we should be okay. Acho would be a interesting target as well. afterwards. As much as I want to hit the Tibetan Empire get some of their goodies. Call to war. Of course our wife is getting attacked. Yeah, we'll join. We'll just have to wait till we come back. We just keep getting more stress events and we're just going to keep consuming the hash. And we're being raided now by somebody. That's fun. But we did get another uh, legacy, so we're going to unlock more warfare. back home now. Clever guys trying to come and raid us. have to get revenge. Now we're just going to let our troops regain strength and we can have our marriage alliance with the Khan up here. I wonder, can I have him? No. I was gonna say he can't join our war. It doesn't look like we could have stopped the initial battle, but we can get into the second battle. So this force just defeated our wife.
but we'll get revenge. I got a nasty cut on the side of my foot and it's itching like crazy. I think it's like one of the most annoying feelings because it's in a really inconvenient spot. Now we're back to fighting other step tribes. map again. Archers. I will put these guys behind the mountains, kind of have them charge out. Actually, we could guerrilla deploy them. In these trees. these guys in the trees that not count being in the trees there we go Something like this. Take a look at their force in the snow. They're on Unigar.
what I thought was gonna happen. They're gonna come roaring out. The enemy approaches. Should set up a nice little ambush right here. As long as they don't notice our troops over here in the trees. Seems that they're content on just holding that air in them now they're moving a little bit. Just reforming. Forward. Have them rush up to our new deployment spot. I don't recommend having your army run everywhere. They do get tired. some initial skirmishing. Bringing them up in phases. They're content on just falling back bit by piece. I think they know that there's an ambush coming. Looks like we're gonna go ahead and uh run our units forward, see what happens. We 
have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Trap over there. Ready. Got them this way. They're really not wanting to fight us. Flame, they want to be in the woods. Sometimes you gotta turn skirmish mode off if it's not gonna cooperate with exactly what you want it to do. The general has been killed! Excellent! Like right here, we're just gonna annihilate them in a second. With precision shot. Let the horse archer line reform and have at it. I 
and that's the battle. Victory! This is your day! Putting ourselves back on top of the pecking order. Cold, harsh reality of the step. Now today's stream won't be too long, we'll probably go for maybe one more hour. Fighting some more of the Turkish tribes around us. Forest tribes of Mongolia. I like how that just says lake. Because I forget which one of these should be Lake Baikal. And the game doesn't tell us, so I would have to look it up. Now let's finish this siege, since these people wanted to attack our wife's territory. Oh, one of our vassals is actually expanding. That's nice. They're actually going in the direction I wanted them to. I think if they capture the rest of their uh, duchy, it will pretty well finish it. 
when we form our own conate, it'll definitely uh, warrant them being a high chief. Looks like there's a little civil war going on with the Northern Khan. Now when you're rolling over a step kingdom, basically, you know, a Khanate or a Khaganate, it's not always best to have your vassals at the highest tier possible for them. Like having a few chieftains and then a whole bunch of... I mean, having a few high chieftains and then a few smaller chieftains. Definitely a better idea. We'll go over and besiege this little area. Oh, we're going to double back around and hit this zone. Try to catch this guy. Them off quicker than anticipated, but that was a victory for our wife. And we're gonna swing back around. Now, when we inherit the uh, Shayla Valley with our third generation of character, we're gonna have a lot better, a lot better showing for it. doing that. We got our development up to level 2, so that's pretty decent for right now, especially being that the step starts with 0. It's like you want to talk about starting with nothing. We're not really going to get involved with the uh, northern conflict. It would just be mostly a waste of time. Now remember, since our wife is an independent vassal, not an independent vassal, but a completely independent liege, she can also have our children go out and do things. Arrange marriages, which it seems like it's what she's mostly done. Even getting our actual son. A marriage that I personally wouldn't have done, but hey. It works. It's got us our fourth generation character, which we're given an education to. Looks like our vassal failed to grab a hold of this territory over here. How much of a territory can he have? It's 
still be wrathful. I'm gonna decline that arranged marriage. Are we still stressed out character white? Yeah, we are. Time to consume the hash cakes. I think this guy is just passi just passively getting um stressed out. Let's see, what should we do? daughter came of age. We're gonna hold a feast. And our grand hall is actually over here. Who should be our honorary guest? Let's see. Sister. I was hoping our son would be a uh, person that we could choose, but it doesn't look like it. But I think our high shaman. It'd be nice to get the uh, spiritual th side of things closer to us. And we want to befriend. I think our Stuart, since they're also a powerful vassal. Let's have a grand feast. The best that we can get right now. wife is coming down to feast with us. And it looks like the Northern Khan lost his little civil war. shame. And we're gonna just turn this to stress loss. It looks like everybody who is coming has already arrived. Repair our artifacts. Now oh, we got better glory out of it. Looks like most of the events are still the same. 
from before the DLC, just you travel to places. finish that and I think we're actually going to change where we have our grand hall and the uh, horse herds makes more sense for the grand hall to be in our um, capital to be in catacorum Not good, we lost a little bit of stress. And I think we'll also go on a, uh, no, we won't go on a grand tour. Need a little bit more coin. Oh yeah, I forgot we had uh, some people to ransom off. We'll recruit who we can. And we'll execute you. We'll recruit you. Recruit you. See who all we can. A favor hook, that'd be nice. Now we'll just convert them and let them go. And we'll recruit them some more knights. We have anybody who would be good bodyguards. Yeah, we do. A couple of them, actually. Anybody worthy of the personal, um... champion and we do what about a caravan master oh we got an excellent caravan master what about a coot oh. <laughs> look at this we've actually got a nice little miniature court that we can have set you know set up the master of the hunt will have our marshal do that And uh, we only have an average uh, Shinasol, but this one here, he, he's young. He'll make a decent, give him more time in the position. And now we need a court gesture. This person's young and they're um, also possessed, so that should be interesting. A possessed jester. It sounds amusing already. Go ahead and have our 
armies march over to this guy. Leather camp sack, hey. Apparently it's better than what we have, which is, you know, not enough to fill up our trinkets, and now we have enough. have anybody who's actually decent at siege. Make this go by a little quicker. We do not. And we are the best of our surviving commanders. We're also 57 I just realized so we're, we're getting up there. Generous, diligent. Ooh, patient. Good for hostile schemes. And consume the hash cakes. Our yellow submarine. <laughs> good to see that Alton has basically expanded a little bit and has spent the rest of his time uh, eating hash. This vassal, the territory there. Well, he's actually a heck of a marshal. Put our personal champion as the uh, new Stuart. Call everybody to war. Uh, one of her vassals is fighting us. That's nice. They dare come to attack our home. They dare do the dareth of the dare. done.
I think we're gonna wait for it to come just to another uh Oh. The entry level. Now we are going to disinherit them. This pulls them out of the line of succession for our territory. And we might have to fight him for our claim on... Let's see. Yeah, so whatever our son gets the youngest son gets from the Shayla Valley whenever that gets incorporated whenever we pass away along with our wife it's going to uh, be interesting so there will be a minor Lou civil war just to reincorporate those territories Besides that, let's uh, create the title so we have another title formed. And I think we're going to call it there. Not as long as yesterday, but I did get a bit of a late start. Tomorrow is the start of the weekend. I don't actually work on the weekends, so we'll be able to do a lot longer time. And hopefully we'll be able to consolidate the rest of Mongolia. Because our clan is definitely trying to do that, become the most dominant within the Mongol culture group. Basically unify the Mongol culture group. That is our primary goal for right now. We're almost there. We just have to grab these few territories right here. And then on inheritance, we'll finish off the Shayla Valley. So we're getting pretty close, and we'll be seeing you all laters, you alligators. Bye-bye now.